Well, and the big Scottish rally. Um, I didn't get very much uh, yesterday, if I got a couple of buttons yesterday afternoon. Um, and I spent all morning in a field uh, that we did last year where there was some hammies and Bronze Age stuff came up. I looked up and all of a sudden I'm the only one in the field. So I made a quick call and uh, Tim said, oh, we've all moved over to this other field, he said. Flower and road, absolutely beautiful. So I came up here and uh, as you can see, yes, uh, there's people everywhere. But there's my car. How many steps is that? I got my first find. Okay, nothing spectacular, hugely, but it is a find and it's uh, a buckle, I think. Uh, yeah, a little buckle. Um, no pin. But uh, hey, that's all right, a lot better than I did in the, 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 the so called hammy field. So, quite pleased with that. And uh, I think it's a harness buckle. Small harness buckle. And there's my next single here, uh, absolute cracker. Um, you can see why. Um, okay. Big lump of lead, and that is a uh, palm guard. Goes there, leather workers, uh, palm guard. And five minutes later, another find. Um, it's in here, and get that off there. It looks very much as if it's possibly a coin, um, or a button. No, I think it's a button, silvered, but a button just the same. Yeah, yeah, it's dished on the back. Okay, all right though. Still, oh, it's a pattern on it. That might come out quite nicely. Okay, yep, yeah, another find. So three finds in. Well, 15 minutes, um, and I spent all morning in that other field and got absolutely nothing. I think I'll stop here. Yeah, another, another couple of steps, uh, another find, and uh, in there, that looks quite a nice one, um, uh, bag seal, uh, definitely got something on it there, and uh, maybe something on the other side as well, yes, looks like it, okay, nice little bag seal, right, well this is kind of busy, we'll keep, stay on here. And another find here, um, another little button. This one I think is possibly medieval. It's got that thick rounded shank on the back. Uh, looks like it's cast. Uh, yeah, we'll put this one down as a uh, medieval button. Um, I don't know, 14th, 15th century possibly. And uh, this is more like it. Right, let's see if we can find the, the coins with the, the same date range. Well, all right, and this is why I like, I really love coming up on Toddy's digs. I've now had, by the looks of it, my very, my third gold ring. But this, yes it is, it's a gold ring. Very small one, 
All right. Yes, 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 yes. Where's Tim? I gotta brag this one. Unbelievable. Oh my God, look at it. Yep, tiny little gold ring. All right. Wonderful job. Yes. God, that is small. Look, I mean, it's not even gonna go on my little finger, look. That's as much as it'll go. Don't care, it's a gold ring. And I got it. Absolutely fabulous. Right, just a few steps away from where the ring came up, which I've, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, there's a, yeah, that's it, a patch of darker soil there. And I've just got here, cracking signal here. And, uh, no, not another ring, but something that does look really nice. Not quite sure what it is, maybe possibly a little medallion of some sort, or maybe a, uh, yeah, maybe another um, bag seal, possibly, but. I don't know, it's quite a fancy one if it is. Okay, nice little find. Yeah, another find here. Um, this one's uh, an old uh, iron weight. Um, they used to heat these up and put them in the bottom of the iron, um, a smoothing iron, just to keep it hot. Okay, um, let's see if we can get something a bit more interesting. Well, uh, next one here is um, part of a small brooch. Uh, don't know if there's anything on it at all, but there's uh, it's been a pin brooch. Pin's missing. Um, but yeah. Okay, we'll check it out. But yeah, another find. Right, it's a cracking signal here. Um, it's out, it's in the sod. Um, yeah. Ah, there it is. Okay, uh, possibly a coin. I think, in fact, yes, it is a coin. Wow, okay, my first coin of the day. Uh, no idea what, penny, I think. Don't know if it's particularly old, but Okay, we'll clean it up, but uh, yeah, another coin. All 
Now this one I'm not too sure about. Um, it may just be a lump of lead, but I've got a feeling it's what's left of a, uh, a little lead farm animal, possibly. I might be able to see better once it's cleaned up, but uh, yeah, quite possibly. Look at all the holes around there. I mean, there are loads of them. Absolutely dozens of them. And right in the middle of them, I've got a cracking signal. Not more than about two or three inches down. The oldy musket ball. Um, there's no way that just did not give a really, really good signal. How, did, how was it missed? You have to wonder. No mind. Okay. Next, next find is the musket ball. Well, three o'clock now, and uh, heading back to the car for a break. And um, a cracking signal here, and this is probably only a couple of inches there. Um, I really thought I'd found something else gold. If you can see that on there, there's an awful lot of guild on there, but no. Um, gilded button, and uh, it's been flattened, possibly, quite possibly a military button. Uh, I'll get some of the muck off, I might be able to see something on there, but okay, still another find. Well, here's a strange looking thing. Um, quite sure what it is, but yeah. Okay, hello there. There's the bit that was inside it. Hmm. I really don't know. Yeah, if it was any bigger, I'd say it may, may have been a shield boss, but I don't think so. Yeah, possibly a furniture fitting. Okay, I'll check it out and if it's anything decent, we'll let you know. Well, I've just got a surface find here. Um, somebody's not going to be very happy by the looks of it. Cause, ah, what do we have? We have a Tesco club card. We have a... I don't know. Key to something or other. Um, the little key there. And a tag that says... Uh, Avondale Caravan. So... Okay, so obviously dropped by somebody here today, so... Uh, I think there's toddies down there heading towards me, so I'll go down and I'll pass them over to him and um, he can make an announcement tomorrow, I guess, or maybe later tonight down at the site. Right, let's keep moving. Well, I brought those over to Toddy. And mine. And there it is. How about that? Work. Well, there you go. Should have been on there. Yeah. Okay, Amazing. right. Magic. That's so I've just uh, detected all the way along the bottom edge of the field here. They've got quite a few lumps of lead. Um, that's uh, Bill and Tim over there, you can see. Uh, Bill's going away and Tim's coming towards. And uh, I've just had a really good signal here. Um, oh, there it is. And what looks like possibly a little silver. It is, I'm sure that's silver. little silver brooch. Um, I'll get it tested, but uh, it's certainly got the look of it. There doesn't seem to be anything on it at all, though. Not strange. Okay, well, we'll put it um, possibly a cufflink. Now, there you go. Possibly a cufflink. 
okay uh, we'll put it down as that for now um, but possibly my first little bit of silver um, over the rally so right Another find here, um, this one, um, an old button, again, but this one's got quite a bit of gilt on it again at the front, um, might clean up nicely, there might be something on it, um, yeah, okay, um, right. Well, we got moved out to the um, Plowed and Road field there for a while. Found my odds come in and spray it with something, but he said we can go back later on. Um, so we moved into this little bit of pasture. Just walked up from the, from the road down there. Oh, there's Bill coming up as well. And, uh, okay, I have got what looks like possibly a little coin. Um, yes it is, yep, half penny, again, I don't believe any great age on it, but, uh, okay, second coin of the day for me then, um, right, let's keep moving. So back in the field where we started off this morning, um, the car's way up there on the other end, and I've just uh, I've left Tim and Bill in the other field over to the left. I'm heading back to the car because I really do need a break. Um, anyway, I just kind of walked in here from, as you see the gate down there, and uh, cracking signal, and what a nice little find. Um, looks like possibly like a snake buckle maybe um, or maybe just I don't know just a, a gate clasp or something don't know but if it's a snake buckle it's a crack and find um, and if it's not then it's maybe not right Well, um, as you see, I'm still at it, and uh, uh, well, I was going to quit about 10 minutes ago. I'm glad I didn't, because that down there looks suspiciously to me like a silver coin. And it is. Ha! Victoria, silver threepenny bit. Well, well, well. All right. Second bit of silver today. Um gold yesterday two silvers today I ain't complaining Let's keep moving Yeah, 
Oh, another find here. That's uh, a little cartridge case. Um, yeah, I'll probably get the size off of that. Okay, so another one. Well, uh, there are a couple of new fields come uh, come up today, and um, we found they're pretty heavy going, uh, very few signals. So we decided to come back onto this one, uh, which is where we were yesterday. Um, so I've had a wander down. I've had uh, a couple of buttons, a uh, bit of lead. Um, Bill's had a really nice uh, bit of decorated lead, possibly medieval, but. Uh, we'll get that one checked out. I see Tim and Gary's up there digging as well But I've just had a cracking signal here and um, uh, Where are we? Yeah That's a nice find um, Triangular lead weight or yeah, Triangular is not really the word for it. It's uh, Anyway, it's a lead weight and it's quite a nice um, not sure if it's a fishing weight or if it's a trade weight or, or what it is, but yeah, okay, good find. Let's keep moving. Well, it's been really hot. Um, yeah, I've been digging up loads of loads of targets, uh, virtually all lead. Um, bits of copper scrap and that, but got one here, which I think is probably my first coin of the day. A very very rough halfpenny, I think. Half penny, yeah. Very rough. Don't think there's going to be anything on it, but uh, it is a coin. So, right, wonderful. All right, another find here. This one quite shallow. Um, thought it was a, a cartridge case, but uh, it's not. Um, look, I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, nope. Okay, uh, it's hollow anyway, and there's a bit of a spout on the bottom end. Right, I'll check it out and we'll see if we can figure out what it is. Well, um, I think that's probably about it then. Um, there's not many people left round and about. Uh, there has been some nice finds come up. Uh, Tim and Bill had just stood over there. I don't know if you can see them, but they're kind of stood. I think they're waiting for us. So uh, I'll head on over. And uh, I think this is probably going to be my last find of the rally, which is quite a nice one. Um, Right, it doesn't look very much from that side, um, however, turn it over, uh, yeah, it looks quite nice, I think it's quite possibly uh, top off a, a teapot or something, uh, probably Victorian, but uh, yeah, quite a nice little find.
Well, I was almost back at the car. Um, only a couple of steps to go and I got a, a yell over the field and looks like Bill has found silver. Um, Rad, last gasp, I mean it's, it's six o'clock on the Sunday night. So we'll have a wander over and get this one filmed. Well, okay, what, what we got? George the Fourth. Oh wow! Street, look at that. Hey, to the side, yeah. naked. Clean up, maybe. Brilliant. God, they're like hen's teeth. These things. Is that the glint of uh, Bill's golden um, things? I, I see. I think it certainly is. Yeah. I am not. Well, wow, very nice. Have you? I've had, a, I've had a sixpence. I think that's a shilling. It's a shilling. I think it's yeah. a shilling. It's a shilling size. Hey, well done. Thanks. Big cheesy grin. <laughs> That'll do. Yeah. Nice one, mate. Again, almost back to the car there, and now Tim's yelling over there, he's just found a silver too. Um, maybe well, I should just stay down here. Alright, let's see what uh, Tim's got here then, I mean it's just, this yeah, is... this, this is where Bill got his shilling, and we're here, so. It's oh, silver, right. it's and it's silver. got a good tarnish on it, so I it think it's yeah. yeah. Okay. I have no, no idea. No, I have neither, mate. Decoration of something, maybe, but it's definitely silver, you're right. Yeah. Right. I would like to find the rest. Yeah, well done. Got a good signal here, and believe it or not, but, yep, I got a silver as well. Sixpence this one. Don't know whose it is, but that'll clean up. But yeah, it is a sixpence. Fantastic. Right, let's see what else we can find here. Yeah, what a fantastic end to the rally. Three silvers in, what, 10 minutes? All within... You know, all, all within 20 feet. You can see the holes there from where, where Tim is, look. So, yeah, and here's mine.